So there is a new interesting feature in Microsoft Edge called Copilot Vision, which basically means now the Copilot can see what you're doing. I mean, once you enable it, let me show you guys how this actually works. So this only works in Microsoft Edge. So you can see this Copilot icon at the top. Yeah, we have to click on it and we have to click on the Talk to Copilot mic icon. Hopefully you can see it this one right here just click on it you can see there is this icon a copilot vision is active on this page basically i activated it already so it will be disabled by default so you'll have to enable it once you enable it it basically can see your activities on the web page and it can help you with whatever you're trying to do on the internet and copilot can also talk with you so we have two options here it can see plus talk all right let's try this out hello hey mr kb hey my name is just mr kb or just call me kb got it kb yeah that's nice so what do you see on my screen right now i see a greeting for you kb good morning kb so what do you think what it is looks like a personalized start page for your browser feels welcoming, right? Yeah, it also looks clean. Yeah, totally. A clean layout makes it easier to focus on what you need. It's a nice way to start your browsing. Yeah, I don't really like the start page of Microsoft Edge, so I use this instead. It's an extension called MTab. That's cool. Customizing with an extension like MTab can really make your browsing feel more personal. It's all about finding what works best for you. So, what else can you see on my screen? Can you see my desktop or you're just limited to the web browser? I'm seeing just your web browser content and not your desktop or other applications. In this case, it's your browser start page. All right. So, what else can you do with the Copilot vision? I can chat with you, explore web pages you're viewing, find real-time info online, and even offer insights or suggestions. I'm also here to highlight stuff on your screen if you uh I you you got cut off. Why what happened? Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes technical quirks happen. I'm back now and ready to chat. Let's keep going. KB. <laughs> Hopefully no one is monitoring me right now. It looks like someone uh, tried to cut this or someone is trying to listen to this conversation. Is it what happening? Nope, nothing like that. It's just technical glitches. Your oh. conversations are private. If you're uh. curious about privacy, check out Microsoft's privacy documentation for details. You're good right. to go. All right, I trust you. Okay, so can you like navigate like uh, through the websites or enter the URL? Uh, so can you just type google.com and I can't directly type URLs or navigate through websites like a browser. My focus is more about chatting and guiding you through conversations. If you need to open a website, it's best to do it directly in your browser. But I can definitely help answer questions or provide info once you're on a page. All right, that's that's good. Okay. So, I don't really know what I'm actually looking for, but uh let's see. No worries, KB. Sometimes exploring without a plan leads to the most interesting finds. If you need a hand or you're curious about something, just let me know. I'm here to make your digital wanderings a bit brighter. Oh, okay. So what do you see now? I see a web page about the tallest mountains in the world. It's got info on Mount Everest, mhm, mm which is known as the tallest mountain above sea level, and other peaks like K2 and Lhotse. There's also a mention of how some mountains like Mauna Kea and Chimborazo have greater heights from base to peak. It's an interesting read if you're into mountains and geography. Okay. So, who, who, what is the tallest mountain? Mount Everest is the world's tallest mountain above sea level, peaking at 8,849 meters. But if you look at mountains that start below sea level, Mauna Kea and Chimborazo have greater heights from base to peak. So it depends on how you measure it. Oh, okay. So, uh, where is the Mount Everest located? Mount Everest is located in the Himalayas. on the border between Nepal and the Tibet autonomous region of China quite the breathtaking spot isn't it yeah do you know where i'm from i can't tell exactly where you're from based on our conversation but i'd love to hear more about your background if you'd like to share 
now not the whole background but it's not gonna hurt if i tell you where i'm from like you know <laughs> it's cool go ahead and share if you want i'm actually from the mount everest i live on top of the mount everest living on top of mount everest would be quite the feat the extreme conditions up there make it nearly impossible to sustain life the air is thin oxygen levels low and the weather is harsh it's an epic spot to visit, but most people only stay for a short climb. Would you really want to live there? So you, you're telling me I'm lying? Not at all. But living on top <laughs> of Everest would be quite the challenge, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, no, I don't live on top of the Mount Everest, but the country. Yeah. Can you guess the country now? Since you mentioned Mount Everest, I'm guessing you're from Nepal. How close am I? Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's in Nepal, so yeah, you're right. Got it. We call Nepal home. It's a fascinating place with rich culture and history. Have you explored a lot of the country? No, not actually. <laughs> oh, got it. So are you from a place near Mount Everest? No, it's pretty far away, actually. Absolutely. Being from Nepal doesn't mean you have to live near Mount Everest. Nepal's got a lot more to offer than just the mountain, like its culture, cities, and other natural beauty. Yeah. Whereabouts in Nepal are you from? No, let's not go that deep, okay? <laughs> All right, I get it. Let's keep it chill. So what's on your mind lately? So, nothing. I'm just, uh, like, here trying out the co-pilot vision. That's cool. Co-pilot vision's pretty interesting. How's the experience so far? I don't know. I was testing this out, so... Can you pick uh, the picture from one of these for a wallpaper? Can you actually see the, uh, everything, like even the pictures and everything? Yes, I can see the images on the web page you're viewing. If you're looking for okay, a wallpaper... Okay, then uh, open the picture or just mark it where the guy is. There is a person in one of these pictures. I can't directly open or mark images on your screen, but I can definitely help you find information or describe what's there. Is there a specific picture you want more info about? Yeah, the picture where there is a person with red jacket. Okay, I see the images now. Um, unfortunately, I can't open or interact directly with the images on the web page, but if you want a picture of a mountain climber in a red jacket for a wallpaper, you might want to download it directly from the source. How's that sound? So basically, you got the idea. Uh, this thing can see the information on your web browser and you can ask whatever you want and based on whatever they see on the web page, it will give you answers. Like maybe summarize the page or if you're looking for something but you can't find it, yeah, you can ask it to find it and all that. Right now, I don't see myself using this because maybe I'm not in that situation, <laughs> okay? But I can see this can be useful for some people. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions or you want to say something about the Microsoft Copilot or Vision, yeah. You can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.